We're going to add that length here in the J curve. We are going to be starting with the slash method. I could have sworn this is not what we did. Okay, there we go. Like we didn't do that last time. This is a back. It's okay. With the pants, we're going to, as we're doing them in pairs, we're going to do the back first, then the front. Back first, then the front. Back first, then the front. Okay. So this is the center back. We have our hip line and our crotch line um, marked. And we know we're going to be adjusting a crotch curve for length. So what seam allowance, if we're working with the seam method, what seam allowance should we be touching? Crotch line. Right, right here in our crotch line. But if we add length to this, it's also gonna affect the top part of our thigh. So our cut mark is gonna start about where our full thigh would be. And we are going to cut all the way up to hip line. Once again, make a couple of cuts in the J curve and make sure you make your pivot cut on your corners. This is gonna look very similar to the low buttocks except for the direction that we put the difference. See if this is enough. It would be really lovely if I was. Yeah, but it's not. And this piece, we should have separated it from up here, not down here. So I'm just cutting mine off. Too bad, so sad. Okay, I'm gonna tape mine on back down here. See what happens when you cut through a pivot? No biggie. Okay, instead of adding it above the crotch line like we did for a low contour buttock, buttocks, we're gonna add it to the inseam because we want the crotch line to be longer. So we're gonna add that. And we're doing a half an inch. Okay, we're gonna add it this way. Make sure your paper lies flat. If it doesn't, you don't have quite enough pivot. Okay. So we're adding a half an ounce this way at the crotch curve. And then this piece is just gonna lay back out into your crotch line and eventually get back to original. Okay, you may have to fight with it a bit. It's all gonna um, be determined by your relief cuts. Whatever amount you added here, you should have that same type of gap here. Can you see how this gives a really sharp curve right here on the inside of the thigh? That is gonna make you look like you have saddlebags on the inside of your leg. It's gonna be really noticeable. So you need to smooth this curve out. So start at the bottom and just kind of soften it just a little so it's not so sharp. And then make sure that this is nice and smooth and you would just finish these seam allowances right here. And you'll be done. This is gonna be number 16. This is a prominent pubic area with a one half inch correction. And this is the seam method. 
My sloper already has that it's a pant back, that it's a female size 10 half scale, and my name is already on it. So I'm not labeling that information. And that's done.